Now at six, candidates vying for votes in two states. Tough economic times hitting the valley. A News 3 exclusive, two Metro officers getting national attention after being caught in the crossfire. And how to keep tabs on your iPod if it's stolen. We're watching out for you. This is News 3 at 6 with Kendall Tenney and Sophia Troy. Thanks for joining us. The polls are now closed in Indiana and North Carolina. Still too close to call in Indiana, but both NBC and CNN are calling Barack Obama the winner in the North Carolina Democratic primary. Yeah, voters in these two states could make or break Senator Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama's run for the White House. Both states are important because they're the largest left to vote with a combined prize of 187 delegates. Too close to call again in Indiana, but right now Hillary Clinton has a slight edge there. Again, Barack Obama has won North Carolina. We're going to continue to track the results and bring them to you, so keep it right here. And now to our other big story, the slumping economy hitting the MGM Mirage in the wallet. Its first quarter profits fell 30 percent. Part of that was caused by the Monte Carlo being closed for repairs for several weeks after the fire. And now we're getting word the world's second largest casino is considering splitting into two divisions and separating its hotel and casino operations as a way to boost profit. But the casino giant tells News 3 it would be something it would consider way down the road. It was just yesterday that Tropicana Entertainment mm -hmm. Group filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Yeah, but management there says the problems will not change the day-to-day -day operations at the Tropicana or cause any layoffs for that matter. So how does this affect the local tourism industry? News 3's Jesse Corona joins us live from the trip at Flamingo and Jesse there is a new survey out doesn't look so good for Las Vegas when it comes to the summer travel season. Kendall you're talking about the AAA's annual vacation cost survey It's supposed to help travelers plan their summer vacations. That survey lists the top 49 most, ex uh, most expensive cities for people to visit. Now right up near the top of that list here we are Las Vegas ringing in at number five with an average daily cost for room and meals at $358 per day. More than half of the Las Vegas tourist revenue comes from non-gaming sources like entertainment, restaurants, and hotels. But as people start to hold on to their money tighter in tough economic times, is Las Vegas pricing itself too high for the average tourist? These are pretty expensive. I mean, we're trying to have a good time, but it's really hard to have a good time without, you know, we're trying to watch our money. AAA's annual vacation cost survey places Las Vegas as the fifth most expensive city for people to visit this summer with an average room and meal cost of $358 per day. San Diego, Miami, New York, and Honolulu top the list with Hawaii ringing in at $673 a day. The room rates are pretty high, but you pay for what you get. Vacationers we spoke to today, for the most part, say Las Vegas remains a good value for their money, especially if you plan ahead. We've got some pretty good deals on Expedia. Do you think things are priced kind of high here? No. Room rates, food no. entertainment? Cheap. Very good value for money. European travelers say Las Vegas and the U.S. as a whole is a great vacation deal since their money lasts longer in the States. With the, the dollar a week against the pound, we get a good exchange rate, so it makes it cheaper for us to come. In economic slowdown or no, Las Vegas remains a top destination spot for one industry in particular. Wife, Wife. as of yesterday. <laughs> well, we got married on Saturday, so uh, this is our honeymoon. Now, the Las Vegas Convention of Visitors Authority say they have major questions about how AAA came up with these cities for their list, so they declined to talk to us on camera today for this story. Kendall? All right, Jesse, AAA came up with a list for its survey based on 60,000 diamond and AAA-rated hotels and restaurants listed in its tour book guide. U.S. Airways also feeling the effects of the slumping economy. We now know it is reducing flights out of McCarran due to increasing fuel and operating costs. Last week, it was reported that cuts were possible. Well, the biggest change will occur on nighttime flights. Beginning in August, the airline is moving the flights that departed just prior to midnight earlier to 9.30 p.m. Instead of 41 nighttime flights, they will be reduced to 23. However, U.S. Airways is increasing flights to at least one location. It's going to fly four flights a day to San Diego instead of just two. There are no layoffs or furloughs planned. New developments in the endoscopy health crisis. The assets of two doctors at the center of the investigation have now been frozen. Judge Alan Earl today ordered the injunction against Dr. Deepak Desai, a name you've been hearing a lot about lately, and Dr. Eliad Carrara.
Under the order, Dr. Desai and his wife, along with Dr. Eliadio Carrara and their family, trusts and businesses cannot transfer anything over $50,000. Any attempt would require a court approval. And he made clear that, look, if I see a bunch of repetitive transfers, if in this discovery we see a bunch of repetitive transfers of less than $50,000 um, for things that look a little suspicious, then the court's going to come back in and he's going to be much more harsher in what he does with this preliminary injunction. Dr. Desai is due in court on Thursday for a hearing on his medical license, which has temporarily been suspended. A suspect accused of trying to rip an ATM right out of a wall at a local bank is now caught in the act. Police say when they got to the Bank of the West on Sahara near Valley View, they found the suspect had torn the front cover off the ATM. When he saw officers, he tried to take off in his truck, but didn't get too far. He slammed into some rocks, and then he tried to run on foot. But police say a rookie cop just out of the academy tackled the suspect and took him into custody. A 22-year-old Las Vegas man accused of murdering his roommate is on trial this week. Police say Pachalo Chapeta bought an axe and used it to kill Sanjay Makajani inside their apartment. He told police he had bought a suitcase to put the body in. He drove around for nearly a week with it in the back seat and then dumped the body in the desert. Two teenage boys found the body while following footsteps near Tropicana and Boulder Highway. What did you see? I saw part of the torso, lower part of the torso. Now, defense attorneys say Chapeta is a Christian immigrant from Malawi, and he started to live in fear of his roommate, Makajani, who was a Muslim immigrant from India. Chapeta says he became more radical and was heavy into drugs and alcohol. The trial is expected to last until Thursday. A suspect on the run has been caught. Metro put out the warning to be on the lookout for this guy just yesterday. They say Kenneth Patton beat up his live-in girlfriend last week. Metro says he went back to her house last night, and that is when police caught them, caught him. Well, it's the part of the job that really nobody likes to talk about, that moment when a suspect opens fire intent on killing a police officer. For one local patrolman, it happened last year. In a News 3 exclusive, Denise Roche takes us inside the home where the shootout happened and explains why the story is gaining national attention. He was in the dark. The only, the only thing I saw was a muscle flash. And the first shot hit me in... Uh, in my chest, the vest caught it. It was 10 seconds that changed everything. The night patrol officer, Ricky Lara, took eight bullets for the Metropolitan Police Department, an attack described as nothing less than an ambush in the days that followed. I think about it, you know, I just don't let it get to my, my head that much. It happened in February of last year. Lara and several other officers were investigating an attempted carjacking when a possible suspect ran from police, leading them to a neighborhood near Sahara and Edna. This week, News 3 returned to the scene, and with Lara waiting outside, Metro spokesman Ramon Denby showed us exactly what happened. And this guy is literally right here. Boom, 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 boom. He fired uh, 14 rounds. Which in turn knocks him back into the bathtub and wedges him, end up wedging him between the toilet and the bathtub. And I re returned fire and I re uh, shot 29 rounds. He's able to then clamp his uh, firearm between his legs, rip out another magazine, insert another one and began to return fire again. When it was over, the suspect was dead and Laura was losing blood by the second. That's when another officer, Dale Jones, stepped in to give emergency aid, using a dog leash as a tourniquet to save Laura's life. Your training does take over. You know, I was in the Marine Corps um, also, and that kind of helped in, you know, being prepared and, you know, having you know, loving my family makes me, gives me a will just to stay here more. While it's been over a year since the shootout, no one at Metro has forgotten what happened. In fact, the police union nominated both Laura and Jones for the top cop award sponsored by America's Most Wanted. And we're happy to report they won. They're headed to Washington, D.C. this weekend to pick it up.
Oh, I was excited. You know, I was, you know, grateful for it. But the scars remain, both on Laura's body and on the house where he nearly died. This looks like a patch from one of the holes here. A shootout in a cramped bathroom where the nation's two top cops proved what it is to wear the Metro uniform. Mostly it was uh, mental preparedness. You know, I was told myself, you know, if I ever get into a shooting that you know, I'm not going to quit. And you know, I'm going to stay here till the end. Dennis Rosh, News 3. Officer Jones was also injured during the shootout. He was grazed in the cheek and hand by a bullet. It's really interesting that officers later learned the gunman was not involved in the original carjacking call. It turns out he was a fugitive from another state who ran when he mistakenly thought officers were after him. Mm. Well, tonight is First Tuesday, and this month, Metro Police are highlighting National Police Week. Tonight at 7, you can go to any Metro substation to see a video showing the sacrifice of Metro officers. Here's a clip of the video. It's going to also include scenes from last year's National Police Week that took place in Washington, D.C. The week lasts from May 11th through May 17th. Also tonight, you can speak out about the environmental impact for the uh, Nevada test site at a public meeting. It began earlier today, but runs until 8 this evening. It's at the Atomic Testing Museum on East Flamingo and Swenson. If you can't make it, you can head to St. George, Utah tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. for another meeting. That one will be at the Dixie Center on South Convention Drive. We've heard a lot of talk lately, especially with the presidential campaign going on, the idea of cutting the federal gas tax to give everybody a break. Yep. Well. Don't get too excited. Find out why the proposal would not matter if it gets passed here in Nevada. Oh, I believe the curtain is going <laughs> up on Cher's latest Las Vegas show. Why she says it's full circle. And some good news. If your iPod has ever been stolen, maybe lost, a new way to keep tabs on your favorite music mix, all that and so much more as News 3 at 6 rolls along on this Tuesday night. You need something cheap, you need something easy, so you go for the chips. On Wednesday morning, a cheap, healthy alternative where you'll forget the junk forever. Plus, getaway May, $3,000. Wake up with us at 5 a.m. Real-time closed captioning provided by Dr. Steve Lazar. To help with the current economy, I am offering 20% off all dental procedures Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. A simple request, a safe and clean place to live. Needles, crack pipes. These, these are things we find on the property every day here. So why are Las Vegans living in this mess? And the real mystery, who is letting it happen? But you do do the cute. And now we're facing the streets because of, of a slumlord. A News 3 investigation into some of the worst properties in the valley and who owns them, Thursday at 5 at 11. It's that time of year, Las Vegas. Get into Mastriani Fashions for our gigantic annual spring arrival sale. Mastriani's offers major discounts up to 70% off retail prices on our hand-tailored suits and accessories. And we have the finest clothing direct from Italy. Don't forget our special offer of three Super 120 suits, three shirts, and three ties for $4.99. We have the finest dress slacks, and our name brand shoes are at more than 50% off. It's all at Mastriani Fashions' annual spring arrival sale. It's time to discover the Hyundai Advantage. Count on five stars of safety on Hyundai's entire lineup of SUVs. Hyundai Tucson, Santa Fe, and Veracruz. Plus, all Hyundai SUVs come with electronic stability control and traction control. Standard. And, of course, America's best warranty. No wonder the Hyundai Santa Fe was just named a top pick by the leading consumer magazine. Plus, right now, buy any Hyundai SUV and get up to $2,500 cash back. Hurry to your Southern Nevada Hyundai dealers today. Planet Hyundai, United Hyundai, and Henderson Hyundai. Closed captioning in Spanish, sponsored by attorney Adam Kuttner. Injured? Call the law offices of Adam S. Kuttner for a free consultation. 382-0000. Thank you for making us your number one newscast at 6 o'clock. This is News 3 at 6. Okay, well, two presidential candidates are proposing the federal government pass a gas tax holiday from Memorial Day to Labor Day. But it wouldn't matter here in Nevada even if that did happen. The Silver State is one of three states with a law that would actually increase fuel taxes to offset any drop in the federal tax. 
Officials say the Nevada law was enacted to make sure funding for construction projects and bond funding would remain intact if any federal money were to be cut. Well, News 3 wants to save you money. News 3 today is giving away gas cards and cash. Tune in each morning from 5 until 7 for Getaway May. To enter, you can go to our website at kvbc.com or just send us a postcard with your contact information for a chance to win on News 3 today. Cher is back in Las Vegas. Her first show kicks off tonight at Caesars Palace. She'll share the Coliseum with Bette Midler and Elton John. Cher is expected to give about 200 shows over the next three years. Tickets start at 95 bucks each and can be purchased at the Caesars Palace box office. The 61-year-old Cher, yep, she really is 61. She looks pretty good, huh? Well, anyway, she says uh, she's coming full circle after her first Las Vegas appearance at Caesars. In today's What's Right with Kids, dozens of Bailey Middle School students are doing their part to help the environment. The students spent most of their day cleaning up trash left by vandals in an area known as the Great Unconformity. It's on Lake Mead Boulevard near Hollywood. More than just a cleanup project, the students are learning about the history of the area and its early inhabitants. The students could help practice the good stewardship that is taking care of our public lands. And we also teach them about the geology and the natural history. And then we have the fun part where these kids get to dig for fossils. Our school, Bailey, is down there. And if we look up from the, from the gym, we can see the mountain and we can know what we did to make it look better. Great job, all of those kids. Uh, well done. The project is a joint effort between Bailey Middle School, UNLV's Public Lands Institute, and the Bureau of Land Management. A pretty warm day to be out there digging in the dirt. I hope they had some sunscreen on it. Felt least. warmer than we felt in a while, Kevin. We have moved up temperature wise. We also had a whole bunch of clouds adding some personality in the sky. We'll tell you what they're doing. Plus, humidity, which had been up, may not be sticking around too much longer. And those winds are coming back. We've got the full seven day forecast for you when we come back. America's best and brightest college students square off for battle. You're going down. We'll advance to the semifinals. Find out on the next college championship. Watch Jeopardy! Weeknights at 6.30, only on Channel 3. This Wednesday is Mervyn's 50% off sale. Plus, enter for a chance to win one month's mortgage or rent payment with Mervyn's We'll Pay Your Bill sweepstakes. Visit a Mervyn's store near you for details. Mervyn's 50% off sale. This Wednesday, open 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, you know what I always say, Tom Tom. Yep, there's nothing tastier than Panda Express orange chicken. Yeah, well, uh, that was before Panda's new Beijing beef. It's so delectably crispy and tangy. Beijing beef is better than orange chicken. Better than orange chicken? Eddie, you're the grand poobah of the orange chicken fan club. Yeah, well, I resign. How's that? Panda's new Beijing beef is here. It's crispy, it's tangy, it's tasty. And it's only at Panda Express. Tired of paying too much for glasses? At iMasters, two complete pair of stylish glasses are just $99. For a limited time, get our lowest prices ever on no-line bifocals. Two complete pair for only $149. iMasters, why pay more? Jimmy, with our recent expansion, we now have the best selection ever of all new Chrysler and Jeep vehicles. Yes, Umpan, they all look great. Drive the 30 miles per gallon Chrysler Sebring or the rugged Jeep Liberty for one low price. Your choice, $13,995. Yes, $13,995. And you'll receive a $500 gas card offer good through May 31st. Plus, get the lifetime powertrain warranty. Opa, I bet you ordered this car. <laughs> Jimmy, how did you know? This portion of News 3 is brought to you by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. National Tourism Week begins May 10th, so thank a tourist. We had another fine assortment of clouds out there today, but unlike yesterday, no sprinkles in the Las Vegas Valley. Still a decent amount of humidity with the humidity levels in the mid-teens, especially around the edges of town. And I think you could feel the difference. All of our water smart weather stations, 10 to 14 percent, except right here at the station. But it wasn't that humid and we didn't just have enough we didn't have enough moisture to really contribute to any sprinkles or light rain showers today in fact most of that action went to the east 90 degrees was our high half a dozen above normal 13 shy of a 61 year old record 62 was the morning low and air quality remained in the good category on the doppler radar we did have some light showers some light radar returns in utah and arizona drifting southward but you know a lot of this wasn't even hitting the ground the air mass still pretty dry and the energy 
is also transferring farther to the east. What's happening is the area of low pressure that is directing the moisture toward us is also shifting toward New Mexico and eventually Texas, and it will take the moisture with it. It will take the slight increase in humidity with it, and it's going to take the clouds with it as well. What we're watching now is we've got this weak front right up here, but it's strong enough to kick up the wind, and that'll really kick up tomorrow afternoon. More gusts over 30 miles per hour again tomorrow afternoon. It'll start as early as midday tomorrow, and then that shifts east, and there's another one out here too, and that one will kick up the wind on Friday. Let's check out the numbers. Here are your low temperatures overnight tonight. Mesquite going down to 56, 64 in Boulder City. Then high temperatures for your Wednesday. Look for 86 in Pahrump, 91 up in Overton. The Moapa Valley will Laughlin soars to 94. In town, we're going down to 65. We'll call it partly cloudy, but we'll have less clouds late. And the breeze picks up during the late night, early morning hours. It will be downright windy at times tomorrow afternoon. 15 to 30 sustained with some stronger gusts. Look for another day flirting with 90 degrees and a look ahead at your seven day forecast. You know, we're doing all right temperature wise. We're staying in the 80s during the day with overnight lows generally in the 60s, but we're on the every other day wind plan except Mother's Day weekend. We should be able to escape the breezes. They'll hold off until the day after. Just for mom. Exactly. Yeah, That's why not? Because we are good kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> which, let, let me introduce you to the third graders out of Pat Diskin Elementary. It's my pleasure to hang out with them, talk about the importance of reading. This is a RIF school. Reading is fundamental. And Clark County Reads presents these kids with three books every year. And, and they all like, I mean, I ask them, how many of you like to read? Every one of them likes to read. They all like to write and illustrate it. I had a great time out there, and I want to thank them for hanging out with me earlier this afternoon. Those they look kids, yeah, I was going to say, always have a great time when you're around. Well, I hope so. <laughs> they, they invite me there. That's that's kind of nice. If they don't, yeah. we're in trouble. Yeah, so am I. That's true, but they show it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's, but I want to thank them for having me out. All right, thank you, Kevin. An update for you now on the primaries taking place today. Yeah, Barack Obama takes North Carolina. These are live pictures as he uh, speaks to his supporters there in Raleigh. Uh, basically, he's already told them that... Uh, uh, tonight, that they are about 200 delegates away from winning the Democratic nomination for the president of the U.S. And he also said that it appeared that uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton had won Indiana, Indiana although thousands of votes uh, not counted yet. Yeah, still too uh, close to call there in Indiana. This is the last really big day in this primary election. Uh, after this, you won't see many delegates, this many delegates up for grabs in one day. Um, but it appears Barack Obama, it, we know he's taken North Carolina, and right now Hillary Clinton does hold the advantage in an election that has not been called yet in Indiana. And those are live pictures right now from Indianapolis where she is with her supporters there. So we'll have a wrap up for you uh, on this race at 11. Okay, not to worry if your iPod gets lost or stolen. A new tracking program is available. We're gonna tell you how it works and where you can get it. Stay with us. Impact is the primary cause of foot, leg, and back pain. Stand longer, walk farther, take the shock out of your walk. Z-Coil Pain Relief Footwear. Hurry in now for Toyota's banner sales event with great deals on a huge selection of Toyotas. Check out the all-new Corolla. Toyota Corolla is the number one selling subcompact in America. An excellent value. Each and every one is backed by Toyota's legendary quality and reliability. Corolla's also fuel efficient with a 35 miles per gallon highway rating. Drive one home today. The Banner Sales Event. Big savings, big selection. See your Toyota dealer today. My bank is in my supermarket, and my coffee shop is in my bookstore. My camera, my calendar, and my music are all on my phone. And my phone is in my pocket. Things are better when you put them together. That's why both my auto and home insurance are with Amica. Call Amica now. You could save over $300 when you have both your auto and home policies with us. I've got it together. I've got it together. I've got it together. At Amica. Amica. It's not just how you're covered. It's how you're treated. Hey, Embark High Speed Internet. $19.95 a month. Mm-hmm. And it's not an introductory offer, so it's not going to grow into some second price. I don't know. Mr. Twinkles wasn't supposed to grow much either. With Embark, there's no second prices no, no. that will one day sneak up on you. Don't let it sneak up. Don't let it sneak up on you. Avoid those bigger second prices. Get Embark high-speed internet for $19.95 a month. Embark, where common sense meets innovation.
You've just dropped your kids off at school and you're on your way to work when a reckless driver hits you. Don't count on insurance companies to help. I can help you get your life back. Helping you to get your life back. Go lightly and associates. 222-3333. Watch News 3 anytime on KVBC.com. Brought to you by Chapman Dodge. All right, if you're one of the millions with an iPod, you'll like this story. Yeah, a new free program called iHound actually helps you locate your lost or stolen iPod. Dave Schumann created iHound and says it works because your iTunes can associate your iPod to your computer. Here's how it works. If your iPod is hooked up to a different computer, a message pops up on the thief's computer and it secretly sends it to you as well. At that point, they've already fallen into the, the trap, which is that we're also going to transmit a signal back to our server, and we're going to tell our server the name of the computer, the name of the person who's logged in at the computer, and the IP address, which we then geolocate for you so you can find out. Hey, wait a minute, I was getting into that music. The company has uh, been around for just a few months and has already helped 10 people find their iPods. The software works with anything with a memory from camera memory cards to even flash drives. It was really great seeing you do the robot, too. I know. Uh, yeah, no. Uh. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. You're good. Right there, that's good, Kevin. Coach Johnson enjoys wearing two hats, but it's a tight-knit community where most folks wear a couple of different hats, especially those who get involved. During baseball season, Coach puts in some long days between practice, the games, and his two Sinclair stations. People need gas and groceries, and Coach wants to be there for them. That's just the way it is when you get involved with people's lives. Sinclair, we're about as American as it gets. Get ready, get set, and go to Deal & Doug's Titan Truck Cleanup Sale. It's Deal & Doug's biggest sale ever on the Titan Up pickups. Right now, Deal & Doug is taking $7,500 off MSRP. $7,500 off the most powerful standard V8 in its class. The sale's on Titan, and you're gonna clean up. But hurry, because when this batch of Titans is gone, they're gone. Douglas Nissan in the Valley Auto Mall. Remember, nobody beats a Deal & Doug deal. Nobody. Have a ball with Paddock. Winter, spring, summer, and fall with Paddock. It's Paddock's huge Mother's Day sale. This week only, all patio furniture discounted 30% or more. The Valley's largest selection of wicker, aluminum, teak, and wrought iron, all discounted 30% or more. This plush five-piece dining set is only $8.99. Save $600. Hundreds of great gifts for mom during Paddock's huge Mother's Day sale. Paddock pools, patios, and spas. Call 1-866-PADDOCK or visit shoppaddock.com for more specials. I'm Jim Snyder. New tonight at 11. Looks like one win for Clinton, one for Obama tonight. Is there any end in sight for this Democratic presidential race? We'll have reaction to today's two big primaries. Plus, tens of thousands believe dead after the cyclone hits half a world away. Hear from locals who are trying to get in touch with loved ones in Myanmar. And the plan to expand student-athlete drug testing at local schools will catch up with the kids and parents who will be affected all tonight on News 3 Nightside. Yeah, already one program in place in the Clark County School District. That's at Green Valley High School where there is random drug testing for uh, student-athletes. But this would be a program that sends it to other schools as well. All right, look forward to hearing more. And we will have, of course, much more on the elections coming up tonight. Absolutely. And as you said, it looks like one and one, but they're both vowing to keep going until the end. So at least through June, right? Yeah. So we'll see what they have to say tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. agent auto home life seek shelter today find an agent at shelterinsurance.com or call 1-800-SHELTER for a free quote <laughs>